Hello there, I'm Ferris Pilot and welcome to Let's Play Sanctuary RPG. The last time I played this game, I made quite the fool out of myself. But today, today I'm going to play it again. And we're going to start a new character. That's going to be... I'm not going to load shield. You know what? Fuck that guy. He's a piece of shit. And... Nobody understands the Paladin. Nobody understands his problems. You can view his perks. I'm not going to read them out for you. <laughs> Don't test my faithfulness. I serve the light. Repost heals for a certain amount of damage. And that's why I'm going to pick this character. This character's whole shtick is going to be Repost. So his name will be Repost. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is it, is it Repost or Reposte? Classic difficulty as always. Character is going to be a crest because deal damage equal to your MP each turn is kind of OP. No, we don't need the intro. And for some reason the, tu the tutorial is on. I will skip it. Oh, the tutorial wasn't on. Whatever. <laughs> Item again. Uh, staff. It's better than the wand, so let's take it. Ooh, rawhide. And let's go explore the grassy fields. Robot ale tastes like goblin piss because it is goblin piss. <laughs> well, that was an easy fight. I just used like one starter and he died instantly. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, man. And sub swish trophy. What, what is this dexterity stuff? I don't need dex on this character. Wisdom is alright though, so I will equip it for now. I need vitality and intelligence. Meters and alts. Like, we know what that shit is. Like, we've done it before. Let's go into the grass fields. Couple more fights. Ooh, a rhino. Bash! Oh shit, he's preparing to charge. See, I figured out that if you reposition, then you will take less damage if they charge on you. <laughs> Also, I figured out how to break free of the, um, when they trap you and snare you, you can press five and you'll break free. So vitality in this character, vitality and intelligence. That's all that matters. Uh, I guess I'll go for MP right now, but in the future, I'll probably go for, um, I think I'm going to assign these later, actually. I mean, I'll probably go for uh, health too. I'm going to assign those later because I might get a better weapon. I don't want to use like a staff and stuff. So let's go to gate 17 and fight the boss. <laughs> oh my god this guy keeps on charging like holy shit you know why, why doesn't he just sit back and let me kill him honestly that would have been easier but no he's like oh i don't want to die i'm a boss i'm gonna be hard to kill shit oh fuck oh uh, okay i didn't die that's good that's good and now we just take him out see this is what happens when you don't pay attention you get trampled and I've, I've been killed too many times by being trampled. So this is like a legendary drop, I think. That's <laughs> that's pretty good. It's rare. Uh, it has sh shit stats, but it's better than what we have now. So let's take it. Man, the music is so good. I don't want like, to skip it because the music will end. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. Vitality and intelligence. Wait, what's... Yeah, intelligence. Sure, why not? And another point in intelligence just to get that to 30. Nice and even. Ooh, health is good. And again, I'm going to assign this later. Did I level up again? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, well, I'll take it. Okay, I'll show you guys these things that you can do here in the shop. You can buy things like silver keys. And, and what silver keys do... Well, I'm not going to buy one now. But what silver keys do is you can use them in the arena to fight in the arena like this and he's a dwarf and shit i found that the arena fights are like super easy for some reason because the enemies deal like no damage to you see like <laughs> that was so so easy it's just ridiculous and it's nice because it gives you some like soul shards and stuff and the questing keystone is actually really hard i'm gonna activate the portal but i'm not gonna go through it because i always get my ass kicked if i do it this early on so <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not quite ready for that yet crafting do i have any crafting materials uh i can craft a soul shard I'll show you how it, how it works once, and the rest of the time I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to skip it because it's just really, really repetitive. And the way it works is you can use the different types of input. I like to go strong as much as I can, then maybe like some light or some four weight to like reduce the heat. Because if you get overheated, like your durability goes down. If you run out of durability, then the craft fails. If the craft fails, then you're basically fucked. You can see the warning there. So, you know, be careful about it. I'm gonna wait for a little bit. 
I think I might wait a little bit more just to get the, yeah, there we go. Now it's a craft success, 37 quality. Wood splint, wood splint, rawhide. Now we can craft some armors and stuff. Oh, and by the way, you can level up from crafting. <laughs> so apparently it gives you experience points. So I just leveled up from crafting. And so again, we're gonna just do what we did before. Pump vitality and pump intelligence. And more max MP. Because that's what we're going for. Health and mana. That's that's what this character is all about. And got Riposte. This is the ability. Let's I'll show it off a little bit in this grassy fields or whatever. Well, this guy might just like die instantly. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let's see. He's really weak. Like he's dealt no damage to me here. Okay. As you can see, he 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 dealt 90 damage, but I can deal 587 back to him. I'm not going to really do it right now because it's just <laughs> he's so weak. But the point is if you're facing off against enemies that do a lot of damage, you can do like a shitload of damage back to them. It's really OP ability. So I'm going to go back and craft a few things. See what happens. Okay, well, it's better than no armor. So we will take it. Craft some charms. Oh, this is cool. This is like a fire, fire charm, which means it deals like extra fire damage or something. But I don't want any dexterity, so I'm not going to equip it. Although maybe the intelligence should have... I'm leveling up so much from this crafting. Like, holy crap. Level six now, just from crafting and stuff. Got two of these from crafting. And again, vitality and intelligence. Okay, so at the blacksmith, you can grab like quests and shit. Uh, he needs two silver keys. And honestly, I, I'm tempted to just do it. Let's redeem the scrap metal first. And, ooh, a pole arm. Nice. Let's equip this. So cool. Yeah, you can equip. I mean, you can um, redeem the scrap metal for items. So, do I have Polar Mastery on this character? Let's see. Let's assign Masteries. Uh, no, I don't. So, I want to pick one of the weapons that I have three in. So, whichever one I get first, really. You know what? Let's just buy some Silver Keys from the shop and finish this quest real quick. Because we have the money. And it gives us this new charm. But we don't need it. So, I, I'll just salvage it for some crafting materials. Let's go and destroy the raiders in the root camp. I like this is like my favorite fight music ever <laughs> in this game anyways let's see uh he did not attack me he's frozen man the crass ability is so OP like he doesn't even do anything I'm not even doing it like this character is so defensive that he's just not been able to attack me this entire battle because he keeps getting blocked or frozen I can't even make use of repost okay there we go now I can make use of repost there we go but he got frozen in mid in mid charge, so so easy to kill. Like I told you, the defensive character is ridiculously powerful. They really need to like nerf it or something. Let's see if we can't go into the portal in the arena. Questing Keystone, I mean. Oh, we can activate this one too. Let's go into the ancient rift. A hornet has thrown a rotten potato at you. Oh god, it has a lot of health. <laughs> I'm afraid. Actually, this is where repost comes in handy. I just did 15, like, I did, like, a third of its health and damage. Like, it's so good. Aw, uh, do I have health? Yeah, he's, like, frozen and shit. Come on, this is just, this is unfairly good ability. And I have so much mana on this character? Wait, do I? How much mana do I have? I don't even know. Ooh, a shield! Actually, I don't like having such a high block. Well, I'll take it. It is defensive-oriented, so let's keep it. I think I could do one more. Holy shit, what is that thing? Butterfly? Oh my god, it has a lot of health. It is preparing to charge. That's... It's preparing to charge again? Like, why do you keep doing that, bro? You know what? Let's do this. Oh, he didn't even get to finish his charge. I wanted to, like, get charged at and then repost it for, like, massive damage, but he just got frozen before he was able to complete his charge. Let's do Righteous Slash. I've never done that before. What does it do? I it doesn't seem to do anything. Guy keeps on guarding and it's like, come on, bro. You, you, we, you and I both know you're going to die. Like, you might as well just die and <laughs> give me my item already. Ooh, an Umbo Shield. It has higher block percentage. It has Dexterity and Wisdom. I feel like it's better. But it's also Dexterity, which is useless on this character. So I'm not going to equip it. I'm going to salvage it. I got Scrap Metal. That leveled up. More Vitality, please. And intelligence, please. Let's go explore the rope camp a bit more. Ooh, a bandit guard. 
bash you. The problem with this game, I think, is like a lot of the combos are just sort of repetitive, you know? Also, this freezing ability is ridiculously OP. Like, holy shit. I didn't even plan this while creating this character, but the, like I planned on using Riposte to bring their damage back at them. But Freeze is just so good that I don't even take any damage in the first place. I guess the synergy is sort of lacking. Uh, let's see, a Mantlet Shield. And, eh, it's not that great. Can I craft more? That's really good. I'm going to equip it. Let's go to the road camp a bit more. Why not? I'm going to keep this short. Brotherhood wants Lissa dead. Take the syringe into the tavern and inject her with it. Report back to me after the deed. You... See, I, just, I don't, I, I like started off with the accent and then the way that the text worked, it didn't work out so well. Uh, whatever. <laughs> let's, let's go kill Lissa. Um, Lissa is the tavern wench or whatever her name is. And, and, and you can kill her or warn her. I, uh, I don't know. Let's warn her. I'll be a nice guy again. No, I'm an angsty paladin. Let's just kill her. Crawling in my skin. Okay. Whoa, beer is so cheap right now. Holy shit. Let's buy all of the beer we can. Uh, let's upgrade the tavern a little bit. We have some cash on us, so why not? And sell some beer here. So good. Let's buy all the beer we can, because 10 gold is super cheap. And yeah, there we go. We're done. Also, you can access the shared stash. There's like gift boxes and silver keys. Let's open a gift box. I've never done this before. See what happens. It's just an item, I guess. What is it? Silver key. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, we killed her and then he's like, nicely done. Take this. And whoa, that's really good. 19 vitality. Holy crap. Let's take it. Haha, <laughs> that's really nice. Let's go kill the rest of the rogues though. Ooh, it's the centaur. He's gonna charge at me, but it doesn't matter. Apparently he's a desecrator. I don't know what that means exactly. I <laughs> guess he's harder than the normal enemies, but really he's not dealing all that much damage to me. Yeah, there you go. I have no strength on this character and I'm still dealing more damage than I'm taking. <laughs> oh God, defensive is OP. Uh, more vitality, please. And intelligence. Oh shit, I accidentally invested into strength. That sucks. Well, I can pump int, int next turn. Ooh, a few items. Yeah, it's this piece of shit. Wait, let's redeem the scrap metal first. Holy crap. No, it looks impressive, but its stats are terrible. So I think I think I will... Uh, well, let's equip it for now, because we might, you know... We might be able to get a new awesome thing. That's new, but it's not quite as awesome. And come on, something good. No, 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 nothing good. Well, I guess we've decided we're going to be a swords paladin. So let's invest into all of the skills in swords. Uh, blade mastery. It is fitting that the angsty paladin likes to cut. And the music is so good. I don't even want to kill this guy. I just want to like listen to it. <laughs> uh, let's take him out though. Ah, and he's frozen. Of course. Okay, seriously, they need to fix this freezing mechanic like and blocking too. Because <laughs> every single turn... He's just like been frozen or blocked by me and he hasn't been able to do anything at all. This character is ridiculously overpowered. And we got another silver key so we can just head on over to the arena and uh, easily kill another guy. Oh no, I got trampled for 131 points of damage. Whatever will I do? Let's go to questing keystones. At least these fights are somewhat challenging. Holy shit, it's an immune shrouded bat. And he's charging. You know what? Let's get hit by the charge. Nah, we can reposition and knock off his guard as well. Apparently that failed. Stop being guarding, you son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, 1,000 points of damage is pretty impressive. And let's go back to the ancient. What is this Cthulhu thing? Deep One is crouching cautiously. Insidious, insidious, immune. He's like 2x insidious. Hint, some attacks deal less damage than others. Yeah, I think I understand that game. Okay, let's bash this motherfucker. And it's it's just, he's been blocked. <laughs> oh no, eviscerated for 101. I can't even do repost because it would be a waste of time. 
Like that's how little damage that that did. And, like it says like all these crazy things like he's obliterated you, he's desecrated your soul, and it's just like 34 points of damage. <laughs> you know? I mean, come on. Should I break free of the ensnare? Nah, he's almost dead. Who cares? Holy shit! It's a champion vampiric fast orox, and he's scary. <laughs> he is scary. Let's see what happens. Oh, 116 damage. Maybe he's not. He's eviscerated me for 116 damage also. Who is this guy? He keeps guarding and like, I thought he was a champion. He's just a wuss. Holy shit, dude. You have so much health. Like, I thought I was the guy with the vit build here, not freaking you. Ah, come on, dude. He's preparing to charge, eh? I'm just gonna reposition here because like fucking I don't want to deal with being wounded again. <laughs> this fight is so slow. Come on, dude. Wait, did I just fucking die? What? How did that happen? What? What? <laughs> this is why you always pay attention. <laughs> Even I was like, oh yeah, this is super easy, you know, nothing's gonna happen, and then it's just like boom, you're dead. That's it, it's over. Okay, so next time I'll try a different character. See, I always get cocky and then and then and then the game strikes. <laughs> I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, like, or comment.